Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some a couple of things that I purchased from Nordstrom's. And it's just a quick little haul, some new perfume and some new mascara. Uh, the mascara is something that I've been looking at for some time now. I just hadn't, have, hadn't had time to go get it. Um, but currently, the mascara that I use is the Laura Mercier. I think it's called Caviar volume I uh you know what that may not even be the name yeah that's the name and i believe the bottom says glossy black um it's very small so this is what i use now i actually only like this on my bottom lashes and that's because it's very light um it doesn't really show much on my upper lids like i really want to um so that's why i decided to purchase another one but this is really good for your bottom lashes um if you don't have any if they're very fine uh so what it does is it'll give it like a little tiny pop i'm not sure if you guys can actually see uh, my lower lash but um i do like this at the bottom um but like i said i don't like it at the top so i ended up purchasing some pat mcgrath um this one here and this is the dark star mascara I don't know if you guys can see that. Dark Star Mascara. Um, I believe this is the last one that she came out with. Um, it's gold packaging with some pink writing. Very cute packaging. Um, so I like, the reason why I like this one is because it gives it like, I don't know, it's, kind, it's dark. It's very dark. However, it doesn't give me the length. I have really, really small short lashes. Um, and they're very fine. So this doesn't give me the length, but I do like the darkness that it does give um, it. Can you guys see that? Yeah. And then the brush itself has like, it's a little swivel. So easy to go through your lashes. Um, I'm going to actually do a follow up on this one because I just purchased it. And so far, so good. Um, no complaints. Like, it hasn't clunked up on my eyes or anything like that. But it's not long enough to actually say that it's not going to clunk up. But coming out of the tube, it's it's okay. Um, and that's it. That's it for this one. So this I'm probably going to start just using on my, up, my upper lashes. And then the lower lashes, I'll still use the Laura Mercier. And this was $30. Um, just something simple. Nothing too much. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, $30 from... Sephora and um I like it so far you know nothing I think my favorite mascara have to be the old Dior show and I used to use that for years and I believe there was another one called blackout I believe um so I just decided to try this and that Laura Mercier. But um, this is the new one that I have. I don't know. Can you guys see my lashes? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, and the last thing that I did purchase was some more perfume from Joe Malone. And what I got, which I tried so many yesterday and... I currently have Poppy and Barley, which I really love. And this one just took off the ribbon. This one I got. This one is Nectarine, Blossom, and Honey. And I did get the largest bottle. Um, I just don't think it's worth getting a small bottle. Um, just go for the large one. It's I believe it's like 140 but it'll last you pretty long because you only need a little bit. Uh, so this one has like a... Let me see. Like a, you can smell the nectarine just a tad bit. Um, and it's not, it's not overwhelming. You can smell the nectarine a little bit and the honey, just a smidge. But I also feel that depending on your personal body, it's going to come off a different way. So I'm a vegan. So it may come off different for me than a person who just eats meat all the time. That's my opinion. But um, this this is like a it's a very light scent. Very light scent. 
not not overwhelming you like i said you do smell the nectarine in it and the honey you smell the honey you smell just a smidgen but it's it's a nice it's a nice light scent um they have another one I believe it's mimosa, mimosa something. That one smells really good also. So I'm probably going to add that to my collection soon and um, kind of, you know, just add to my Joe Malone collection because his stuff, well, this stuff does um, last really long on, in my, on, my, on my body. Um, I haven't had any issues with it wearing off on me. So I guess it really depends on you, the type of oils you wear and stuff, but this is the latest perfume that's going to go to my perfume collection up top. And again, this is the Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom Cologne. And this is the largest bottle. I believe this is the 3.4, which is 100 ml. Um, and that's it, guys. That's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Very, very short. Um, nothing too long today. Um, so if you like more videos like this, please comment below um that you would like to see more of my unboxings and stuff in my hauls i usually it's kind of weird to just share your perfumes and stuff but um i did find some really good ones from a lot of you youtubers and some that i did not find so great <laughs> um so it's up to you guys to kind of choose which one you like when you smell it but if you like videos like this please comment below and if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye